Hi, thanks for checking out Sculpture 1 and 2. Sculpture 1 and 2 are 3D art classes, and Sculpture 1 is a introductory class, and Sculpture 2 is a continuation of that. They're both one semester classes, and they're a lot of fun. I'm going to show you some of the projects we do. We change it up every year because I like to be interested and I get bored easily. So what we've done in the past is we've looked at artists. Here we've looked at Frank Stella, and we said, oh, okay, let's see what we liked about Frank Stella. We'll make our own versions of Frank Stella art. We looked at an artist named Izamu Noguchi, made these large sculptures that go in a plaza in a fountain, and we made our own little models for sculpture that would go in a fountain. And we learned how to cast plaster and carve plaster. Uh, we looked at the art of uh, Alexander Calder. He's uh, a pioneer. He used wire to make sculpture many years ago. Uh, before that, nobody had thought to make sculpture with wire. Here is he made three um, portraits of his friends. And so we made portraits of shoes. Some years we do it of animals. Some years we do it of our friends. Uh, look at African art, and we'll make our own ideas of African masks as well. Uh, here are some prehistoric uh, uh, Japanese play figures, and we use that style and make our own kind of uh, Hanawa figures as well. Sometimes we'll make Hanawa animals or even Hanawa instruments. Uh, here's George Siegel, makes life-size uh, plaster figures using a, a plaster wrap. We made uh, uh, parts of the bodies using plaster wrap and collage. Uh, sometimes we work together in groups and we'll make a life-size figure, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes we have brave people and we'll make a casting of your head or we'll even do a casting of your whole body. Um, we have not lost a student yet, I'm happy to say. Uh, we'll look at fantasy figures from Mexico and we'll make our own fantasy figures. Uh, we'll look at modular sculpture. That's where you take this one element and repeat it and make a, a, large, um, a large sculpture. Uh, Sometimes we'll go ahead and, and look at abstract sculpture, and we'll make our own abstract sculpture. In this case, we'll be carving away in plaster. We'll learn how to, again, mix plaster and make a plaster block, and we'll carve away. Um, it's fun. Sometimes we'll look at uh, ancient Chinese bronze vessels that they used to make um, uh, burnt offerings to their ancestors, and we'll make our own versions of that. We do different things, different semesters, different years. It's a lot of fun. I hope you'll join us. Thank you.